Man, what's going on, YouTube? I just came from the gym. Cut in my park. There's a couple places I kind of like to go and just think. And then, you know, it's funny. When I get there, I see a lot of other people that just kind of get in the way, you know? And, and, and I, I recommend for those of you who haven't noticed the power in that, pick a place in nature, whether it's around water, whether it's uh, a park, or whether it's somewhere, somewhere you're at, and find a place to kind of download your ideas. A good thing. So while I'm sitting here, I thought about something. The guy that created the first roller coaster caught hell. Now I want you to envision what I'm about to say. How many people here think that when he came up with the concept of actually putting human beings upside down, high elevation, coming down with speed on something that he's constructing, how many people you think gave him hell for doing that? Are you freaking crazy? Are you an idiot? Do you understand that you're going to risk people's lives? People are going to sue you blind. Are you nuts? How would you do such a thing? Now, human beings, for thrill, go to amusement parks all over the world and get on roller coasters. But somebody had to do it first. When NASA said they were going to send a man to the moon. How are you going to send a human being to the moon and deal with gravity? Are you nuts? And I remember being in school watching the space shuttle go up and explode. Live television right in front of all the kids. Did they stop going up? Did they stop sending missions to the moon once that happened? Did it take courage to get back on, the, on that horse and do it again and, and fix the problems that were there? <laughs> now, they have a list where they're asking human beings to go to Mars. Over 200,000 people have volunteered. Interesting enough, some husbands have actually volunteered with kids and wife and everything. I don't, I don't get that one. But say, hey, send me one way trip to Mars. What am I getting at? <laughs> you can't be mediocre in life. You can't listen to the naysayers because if everyone has listened and would have listened to the naysayers, this life would have been boring as heck. There will be no inventions. There will be no houses. There will be no cars. There will be nothing. Because every man and woman that actually created something had to face that. From the fearful. If you're watching my channel today, you got to read Who Moved My Cheese. Actually, I'm going to make it a requirement. I want you, if you're here to grow, I want you to read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? Because I guarantee you there is somebody in this room right now that has the idea that can shake the world and hasn't started it and won't start it until he or she stops listening to the naysayers. The naysayers. The people who would love to do things but just are too afraid to do it too afraid to do it they're too afraid to fail what if what if the green aliens come and abduct you what if there's a thunderstorm what if you know the actual it rains so hard and someone slips on the pad and hits their head and it and, and busts their head and bloods everywhere what if what if <laughs> so what what if aren't we built to make mistakes get up and try it again You got to take risk in life, people. Those who are successful, take risk. Those who are timid and looking for safety all the time, work for those who take risk. Point blank. Your company that you work for, some guy or woman 
had an idea one day that they want to create this. The naysayers attacked him. He told him at the dinner table. He went home. He became upset. He cried. He told his wife. She was the only one to believe him. Honey, go for it. He had to stop hanging around those people. He couldn't do it no more because he got tired of the negative speech. He had to go find somewhere where he can escape to download those ideas. He got to the point where they were like, where's Herman? Where's Herman? Oh, the wife had to explain where he was. Why doesn't Herman hang around us no more? What is Herman doing? Because they, they, they say you can't do it, but they're always curious about what Herman is doing. They can't, they, because Herman is the guy that's interested in the life. And then all of a sudden, the conversation starts, is about Herman all the time, but yet Herman is not there. Then when Herman, Herman finally shows up for dinner, then they say, Herman, what you been up to? And Herman says, nothing. What do you mean nothing, Herman? What? Nothing. Because Herman has learned that you just can't go out and just tell everybody everything. Because once you tell people, people aren't genuine. People are just asking so they can batter you again. So they can beat on you again with all the negativity. And then all of a sudden, they're watching MSNBC one day. Or they're watching the tube. And all of a sudden, Herman is sitting across the desk getting interviewed about a new company that he created. All of a sudden, Herman is at freaking Wall Street cutting the ribbon and ringing the bell. Then that same person that put Herman down and thought Herman couldn't do it, all of a sudden Herman looks at the phone and he thought he thinks he recognizes that number and he picks it up. And it's that friend that Nace here to say, Herman, you have any opportunities for me? Doesn't all this sound familiar? Does it ring a bell? Yeah. Cause some of you right now right now are the naysayers, and some of you right now are Herman. <laughs> Man, there is so much truth in this video. But guys, you only have one life. You gotta be Herman. If you're watching watching this channel, you gotta be Herman. There's a reason why you're over here. The naysayers don't watch these channels. The naysayers don't have conversation like this in the, in the places where you frequently go. Well, maybe not us so much, but th they go. So they're not going to hear this message. But you have heard it. So what are you going to do about it, Herman? So with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching this channel. Please subscribe. And until next time, signing off.